Good morning, my name is Andy Coyle. I'm going to show you this very nice 1970 Volkswagen. I think it's referred to technically as a transporter. I just call it a van. It's a really well done, mild custom I would call it. Obviously two-tone or red and black. Very nice chrome and stainless accents. Uh, beautiful wheels, newer wheels and tires. Because uh, the story on this car is it's owned by a gentleman, California car, 2016. He commissioned a restoration which included complete engine rebuild, transmission, interior, very comprehensive rebuild, totaling over $17,000. And we have receipts. The engine was uh, built to a 1776 cc. Uh, displacement so it's got more power than it did stock you can see this beautiful leather interior gorgeous door panels headliners really good has this attractive wood top carrier uh, H4 hella headlights it's a four speed with a Jensen stereo backup camera. Now this, there's all new seat belts including shoulder belts which is obviously were not spec for 1970 I don't think. Maybe they were. Uh, this makes into a bed. A full size bed. So you can see this would be good for like camping really nicely done underneath I have photos and it's just as clean underneath as it is on top retains its original four-wheel drum brakes but they've been rebuilt and work great really a lot of time and effort went into this restoration so in here have dual carburetors, you have two batteries, a chassis battery, a battery disconnect, and what RV business they call a house battery. The van is equipped with an uh, inverter, I think it's 900 watt, that means you can run 110 volt appliances off of it. Uh, so we're going to go for a quick drive, I guess I should close the passenger door so this thing starts right up clutch down So when you put it in reverse, the little camera goes on and you have a rear view camera. I'm an old school guy. You take it out of reverse and it goes back to stereo CD. I think it has a, like a 300 amp amplifier, 50 amp speakers. Thing drives that super comfortable. These seats are super comfortable. Turn signals work. Gauges, I believe, work. There's a custom tachometer. Clutch feels really good. very nice nice and smooth so we're in third gear pulls really nice 
And I would call this a freeway flyer gear. That means it would be appropriate for freeway speeds. So the speedometer does not appear to be working. But the tachometer does. I would guess we're going 45, 50 miles an hour. Silky smooth, really nice. Very nice. So we're going to turn around down here and do a U-turn, but very comfortable. Goes down the road nice and straight, no hands. Plenty of power, brakes are nice and straight, stops nice and straight. So we're going to uh, wait until traffic here clears. Shift's nice, nice and smooth gearbox. I call it as good as it gets. Very nice, very smooth, no drama. No uh, play in the steering wheel. So let's review, it's a 1970. Volkswagen Transporter, I think they call it. These are exempt from smog emission. This is a California vehicle, California title, clean title. Uh, super vehicle. You don't have to smog exempt, which is very convenient. Basically a brand new motor. It's less than a thousand miles since this build was completed, according to the paperwork. And there's documents on all the on all the build as far as engine transmission interior electrical all that stuff is completely documented about oh eight ten pages of documentation so super little van a lot of fun really well done Put it in reverse. The little backup camera Jabaru comes out. And it shows you what's behind you. Hopefully you don't drive into it. So let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much. Appreciate your consideration.